Peace with What's going on here? Father, we've been robbed. We've been robbed. Robbed? The chest with the hadiths. God have mercy on us. Chest with the hadiths. Father, look, the chest is empty. Don't worry, dear. I'd hidden them over here. Thank God he himself protected them. Oh, thank goodness. Hello. I know you are unhappy that I am here, but don't you want to know who came looking for you? Hello? Who came for us? <laughs> pay the price first, old man. What was his name? <laughs> I said pay the price first. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> he had covered his face first, but I recognized him, you see. You did? Who was it? I'm not completely sure of his name, but I know he has a shop. A shop in the bazaar, and uh, that he sells fabrics there. <laughs> Oh, no. May God curse that man! Brother! Which shop belongs to Amir, the fabric dealer? That one, across from here. Hello. Hello. Are you Amir? I am. I have a letter for you from the governor of Basra. The governor of Basra? Anything else I can do? Goodbye, sir. So the governor of Basra has come to his senses. I knew Envan Basri didn't come to Kufa without a reason. A good reward is waiting for me. Yes? Thank heavens! 
that after so many days, I finally get to see you. Thanking God is a must, no matter what occasion. Amir, whether you see me or not. Well, I'm sure it must be something important for you to have closed your shop up for business. Want to know? I do. Then listen. It's best that you sharpen both your ears and open your eyes wide. And then maybe you'll be able to find out secrets without asking people. Get it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, sir. Hello? And I swear that I am lower than a dog if I don't get even with you one day, Momentuck. By the time you get this ready, I'll go to the bazaar and see more men. It's dangerous. I think I'll come with you. Hello there. It's Jabber's voice. May I come in? Come in, Jabber. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Jabber. Come in. Hello there. Are you leaving? Yes. As soon as I find trace of Zarari, we'll be leaving Kufa. Will you come with us? Yes, I will. Also, we'll need another companion so that he can help us when in danger. Who are you talking about? A person who came all the way from Basra because of you. I mean Zubair. Zubair? No, we don't need the help of someone like Zubair. But this Zubair is different from the one in Basra. He is a friend of ours, and he is changed into a new person. No. No matter what is a notorious bandit, I cannot let him accompany us. No, if that is so, it was because he was in love. He's still in love. He went to prison in Basra because of you. After he got away, he headed towards Kufa. He's a courageous and strong young man. If he accompanies you, you won't lose anything. He's so intelligent that he can't be fooled by enemies and is so wise that he knows his way around the desert. It's true. That he walked down the wrong path and he was a bandit. But he is nothing like our enemies who are so deceitful. I have no doubt in his intelligence. I'm afraid that instead of helping us, he'll cause problems for us, and I'll be forced to look after our possessions and reputations. Day and night, that's what will happen. All you have to do is trust him. If he gets a taste of friendship, he will give his life to protect you. Do not be afraid of him. Where is he now? He's come with me. If you allow him to, he will come in. If he wants to accompany us, he has to show himself to us. Mm. Zaber! Come inside. the spy from Basra. Now that you will be accompanying us on this trip, you'd best change your lifestyle. The most important thing is God's consent. After that, the people's consent. Envan is a pious man who loves the people. He's a believer and a devout. He's sensitive about you now and will be watching you. It's best you convince him with good behavior. I have another class that I have to take part in. If you want, you can come with me. No. Spare me of your classes. Your big words don't fit in my small head. 
I won't go to the bazaar. The less you're seen in the city, the better. I know. It's very urgent. I want to buy something for Zulfa, you know. All right. Just be careful and don't let the soldiers make life difficult for you. Jaber! I... need to tell you something very important. These alleys are not a good place for us to talk. Leave it to another time. Bye for now. Goodbye. The story of this book is a sweet one. During the days when I was in Medina with my leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad, I was blessed with his presence. One day in the Prophet's mosque, I met the famous naturalist Ibn Abul Uyar, who was talking nonsense. He was saying there was no creator of the universe. Everything came into being by itself. I was so scared that I could not give a crushing response to him. So I went to my leader for guidance. I was very sad. And he realized that. He told me, Mufazal, don't be sad. I will speak to you in detail about how the universe came to be. The creation of birds and animals and all the different living things and the wisdom of all creation itself. This knowledge will help you to add the knowledge of believers and put non-believers in awe. So, my good friend, this book... This book is the outcome of those same words. Everything that there is to know about existence and God has been mentioned in this very book. I wish God gives me the honor to publish this material. Well, Jabba, what are you up to? What have you done? Just like you, I am busy compiling a book. The Imam gave me the information I need for it years ago. Yes, yes, Jabba. Yes, I remember the days you were in Medina, and the Imam would see you every day and talk to you about the different sciences. Imam would always say, Jabba is among those who can do research on natural sciences and uncover the secrets of existence. And in laying the truth bare and proving it, he can prove heathens and non-believers to be wrong, my friend. The Imam was kind to say such things about me. I wish those days would come again, and then I would have the chance to see him again. That way I could get the answers to my questions. I will pray for you, Jabba, so you can be as successful as you have always been. Well, hello, stranger. You can only find what you're looking for in my shop over here. How do you know what I want? <laughs> because your name is Zabir and you have come here from Basra. You are here for valuable merchandise. Need I say more? If you come to me, we might be able to make a deal. I have better merchandise you could use. 
come. I shouldn't have trusted him. He has been abandoned for years, and he's not afraid to do anything wrong. I'm surprised how a scholar like Jabba can trust him. Truly, how could it be? Either Jabba has put aside his intelligence and trusts him, or... What do you mean? You two are saying this young man's changed his ways? I don't know. What I know about his past contradicts what Jabber says about his presence. I don't want to lose trust in Jabber, but if... If this kid Zobeir does something wrong, then... I'm sure Jabba has thought of that. I don't know. There is another way. What is that? I think that you should accept that he accompany us and test him at the first chance you get. All my fear is him accompanying us in the first place. This young man was known in Basra to be a bandit and a friend of the governor. If he is in on it with the governor and informs him of our destination, we, we will have many problems, my child. If that is so, I truly think the soldiers would have come for us by now. I don't know. Maybe Jabber is right, and the Zabir isn't that Zabir when you're in Basra. Either way, I have to see more men. The sooner I find Zorare, the better. I will come with you. No need. Ever since they arrested your friend Hisham, there is the threat of danger any moment. It will be better if I come with you. Fine. Let's go. The bazaar has always been exciting for women. <laughs> Let's go. <Father. laughs> we take two modules of lice and one module of sulfur and mix them up. We add four times the amount of water to it. Heat it and wait until it turns red. Then we filter it and keep adding water until it is not red anymore. After that, what we will do is we will boil all the waters together until it becomes half the original amount, and that is how we produce liquidized sulfur. Master, have you finished your studies on the transmutation of metals? Please, will you share your wisdom with us? We are all ears, Master. At a time of traveling from one city to another, I've had less time to do research. But I have done some research on mercury and of sulfur. The basis of this work is the four Aristotelian quality theory. You should know that in metals, two elementary qualities are interior and two are exterior. For example, in gold, two exterior qualities are hot and moist, and the two other interior qualities are cold and dry. But when it comes to silver, it is the opposite. That means the two exterior qualities are cold and dry, and the interior qualities are hot and moist. Now, if you want to turn silver into gold, both of gold's interior qualities have to appear in silver. And for that, you need an element named Elixir, and of course, no one. No one has been able to come up with such a thing. Master, if what you say is true, if someone is able to do such a thing, he will no doubt become a very, very rich person. A person who walks in the path of science must only focus on serving mankind. The extraordinary thing about science is that it can be the source of change in the life of mankind. But on the issue of the transformation of metals, what's important to me is reaching a point where we can transform one metal into another. If we are able to separate the quality of hot and cold, the quality of moist and dry in metals, we will reach the simple atom, which is the source of all elements. In all elements, this simple atom exists at a fixed amount. The only thing that is different is the exterior and interior quality of the element. 
if we can combine these qualities with different combinations and newer proportions, we might be able to come up with new materials with new features. Coming up with these new proportions in combining these four qualities is something that has kept my mind busy for quite a long time. Hello, brother. Welcome. Greetings, Ever Ambassador. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Yes, welcome. How are you? Is this how you Come run in. your what business? You here? Please. Where have you been? Please, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been looking for you for days. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well. Envan Basri. You're indeed very lucky, Mohammed. Now that Envan is here, your business will thrive. You will have lots of dirhams and lots of dinars. More fun for you, I'd say. Oh, really? And what does my fun have to do with you? <laughs> the good thing about it is that I'll make a deal with you too. With me? Yes. Isn't it true that you believe in resurrection and say man will reappear on Judgment Day? Well, then lend me a few dinars and I'll give them back to you then. Fine. But first you must guarantee to me that on Judgment Day you will return as a man. <laughs> if you're a monkey on that day, tell me, how am I supposed to get my dinars back? Hmm? <laughs> Good for you. The words of our leader are truly worthy of you. He says more men's words are as sharp as a knife. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Momen's shop. I should not have come here. If they see me here, then my plans will be totally ruined. Then what are you waiting for, you idiot? The way I see it is that if I were you and could get so close to them, I would take Jabba hands tied to the governor of Basra today. I could not. The opportunity hasn't come up. What opportunity? It seems to me you'll wait so long that the governor will lose patience and kill your father and brothers out of hand. I swear to you that if that happens, I will throw your head at the governor's feet! Don't be afraid. You and I are of one kind. We understand each other's language. Nothing will happen before I send a messenger to Basra. But we can't wait much longer. You have to get rid of Jabra as soon as possible. I can't do it. It's harder than you think! Shh. Hush, stay right here. I'll go and see what's happening in a few other places. A while back, I heard messages from the Rome court had gone to Khorasan in search of Jabba, the son of Hayan. They wanted to take him to their homeland and make use of his knowledge. But what do our leaders do? They make him go from city to city, throw him from one dungeon to another. God willing, this too will soon pass by. God willing. Well, tell me, Envan, why have you come to Kufa? The truth is, Basra wasn't a safe place for us. We had to leave. On the other hand, I have to see Zorare. I also want to hand him the Hadiths, which I have with me. Bravo. The Hadiths have to be given to Zorare. This is a duty of our leader has given to Zorare. We all have to help him. But we have to be aware of the Caliph's thugs and their people. If they find out you're looking for Zorori, they won't leave you alone. The governor wants to kill Zorori. The caliph has ordered his death. 
That is why his hideout is a secret. You know the people of Kufa, if some of them see a gold coin. You know the people of Kufa. They will even deny the existence of God, let alone give away Zerori's hideout. They were exchanging lots of information. Like what? Very well. We will wait for you. What is that? Fireproof material. It will prevent the rotting and burning of these papers. That's impossible. You can try it. Of course, only after it's ready. What is it good for? The words of my leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad, will be written on them and they will last and reach future generations. For what reason? These hadiths are documents for the happiness and bliss of mankind in this world and the next so that future generations can read them and they can be a guiding light for With them. these pieces of paper? Yes. I have to prepare them and give them to the one person who is in charge of writing the hadiths. The only thing stranger than this paper is the words that you speak about these hadiths. Do you want me to read to you? My misery is rooted in something that can't be wiped away. Either way, you said that you wanted to tell me something. Me? Oh. No, it wasn't important. I mean... If you don't want to tell me, there's no force. You know, the truth is that I'm tired of this miserable life. All I want to do is just make some money fast and then I want to start a family. That is it. Even my own family is poor. I have faith that at the end of this trip you will reach something much greater. In 
enough with this game of cat and mouse. I'm tired. I have to finish things off before his students get here. I'm uh... 